Michael's Coat of Arms and Motto Papal coats of arms are the personal coat of arms of popes. Popes often used their family shield or composed their own with symbols indicating their ideal of life or referring to past events or experiences, or even elements connected with specific pontifical programs. There is an at least 800-year-old tradition for popes to have their own personal coat of arms. Attaching the seal to a papal document is perhaps the most important step in the process of issuing the charter, thus validating its contents. Amen, the One The Nag Hammadi Library, the Apocryphon of John Chapter 2 Verse 1 The Secret Revelation of John When I asked if I might understand this, Christ said to me, The One is a sovereign that has nothing over it. It is God and Father of all, the invisible One that is over all, that is imperishable, that is pure light no eye can see. It is the invisible spirit. The Ankh. The Ankh or the key of life is an ancient Egyptian hieroglyphic symbol used to represent the word for life and, by extension, as a symbol of life itself. It was used in writing as a triliteral sign, representing a sequence of three consonants. This sequence was found in several Egyptian words including the terms for mirror, floral bouquet, and life. The symbol often appeared in Egyptian art as a physical object representing either life or related substances such as air or water. Acts 12 verse 7 And behold, an angel of the Lord stood by him, and a light shined in the cell. And he smote Peter on the side, and awoke him, saying, Rise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands. Amen and the rays of the sun. Throughout the Bible, light has always been a symbol of holiness, goodness, knowledge, wisdom, grace, hope, and God's revelation. God is not just a light or a kind of light, it is light itself. All light comes from the One. At the beginning of time, Amun created the light to dispel the darkness and chaos over all the earth. In theology, divine light, also called divine radiance or divine refulgence, is an aspect of divine presence perceived as light during a theophany or vision, or represented as such an allegory or metaphor. Dextrera Domini PSRB 1509 the right hand of God or God's right hand may be used in the Bible and common speech as a metaphor for the omnipotence of God and as a motif in art. It is also a placement next to God in heaven. In the traditional place of honor. Mentioned in the New Testament as the place of Christ at Mark 16 verse 19, Luke 22 verse 69. Matthew 22 verse 44 and 26 verse 64. Acts 2 verse 34 and 7 verse 55. 1 Peter 3 verse 22 and elsewhere. The Rose of Bonnie. The rose is often seen as a symbol of the union between the divine feminine and masculine energies. Its soft petals represent the nurturing and compassionate aspects of the feminine, while the sturdy stem and thorns symbolize the strength and protection associated with the masculine. The Sun-Clothed Woman Genesis 3 verse 15 I will put enmity between the serpent and the offspring of the woman, it will strike at his heel, and Michael will crush the serpent's head. The Mott Feather Ma'at comprised the ancient Egyptian concepts of truth, balance, order, harmony, law, morality, and justice. Her feather was the measure that determined whether the souls of the departed would reach the paradise of the afterlife successfully. The color blue. 
blue on the triangle and the Ouroboros represents both the sky and the sea and is associated with open spaces, freedom, intuition, imagination, inspiration, and sensitivity. Blue also represents meanings of depth, trust, loyalty, sincerity, wisdom, confidence, stability, faith, and intelligence. The color yellow. The yellow background is associated with the sun, our sub-logos. It symbolizes optimism, energy, joy, happiness, and friendship, and intellect. On the contrary, yellow can indicate jealousy, betrayal, illness, and danger. The Equilateral Triangle The triangle is a symbol of the Holy Trinity. God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit are no longer represented in human form, or as a dove, but by this geometrical figure. It also represents past, present, and future, mind, body, and spirit as one. What does the circle and triangle symbol represent? The remedy to addiction and alcoholism is represented by the circle and triangle. The Skent The Skent was the double crown worn by rulers in ancient Egypt. The ancient Egyptians generally referred to it as Sikhamti, the two powerful ones. It combined the white hegit crown of Upper Egypt and the red Dishret crown of Lower Egypt. Among the deities sometimes depicted wearing the double crown are Horus and Adam or Ra both representing the pharaoh or having a special relationship to the pharaoh. 1. A single unit, being or amounting to a single unit or individual or entire thing, item or object, rather than two or more. A single, one woman, one nation, one piece of cake. Being a person, thing, or individual instance or member of a number, kind, group, or category indicated, one member of the party. Is the All Meaning whole, entire, total, all mean including everything or everyone without exception. The Hebrew word kol translates to three different terms in in English, all of, each, the entire. The Ouroboros. An ancient symbol depicting a serpent or dragon eating its own tail. The Ouroboros often symbolize self-reflexivity or cyclicality, especially in the sense of something constantly recreating itself, the eternal return. The Ouroboros appears elsewhere in Egyptian sources, where, like many Egyptian serpent deities, it represents the formless disorder that surrounds the orderly world and is involved in that world's periodic renewal. The motto, one is the all. A motto is a sentence or phrase expressing a belief or purpose, or the general motivation or intention of an individual, family, social group, or organization. Mottos are usually found predominantly in written form and may stem from long traditions of social foundations or from significant events, such as a civil war or a revolution.